Yo guys, welcome back to my PC Joe Champions Path video. Today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Graplog V today. So Graplog V, um, I actually think it's pretty good. I think it is better than Lucario V. They both share the same weakness, but Graplog can do more damage with Moonsault Press, which for three energy does 120 damage, and you flip a coin of heads attack does 100 more damage, which is pretty good. Uh, that's 220 damage. You know that can knock out Naked Zacians. Um, that's pretty strong. You knock out other V Pokemon too, which is good. Um, you have tie up as your first attack, which is also pretty good for a single fight energy. You do 20 damage, and if the defending Pokemon is a basic, it can attack, which can be pretty good in some scenarios where you're trying to slow the opponent down. Now, this is the list I'm using, very, very modeled loosely off of that Lucario V video I did. Um, we're still using the Coco Turbo Patch engine here. We're gonna try it out again and uh, see if we can win some games this deck. Again, I mean, this deck can be Pika and Eternatus, right? So we got two good matchups laid out and because grab block can do more damage it might be a bit stronger in the long run so forget the video guys of course to our sponsor car and tcg guys as always if you're ever looking for any pdcgo codes get them over car and tcg car Cavern is selling codes for the cheapest on the market yes that does include champion path codes darks blaze codes rebel clash codes sword and shield codes whatever codes you're looking for for pcgo get them over at car and tcg if you get eight codes from car Cavern, guys use my discount code code ldf at the checkout for a five percent discount on your purchase it greatly helps the channel it helps yourself out and helps out car and tcg in the process too so yeah shout out to car Cam guys check them out and use code ldf um also you can check out their buy list if you want to trade in any unused codes or cards you can get some cash extra credit for doing so you can check that out too and also check out my patreon down below i just posted a legacy video over to my patreon so if you guys want to check out my patreon and get access to some exclusive content for two dollars a month to show an additional support of the channel if you so want to you can check it out you don't have to but if you want to it is there to get exclusive content anyways let's take a look at the grab block zap uh the grab block deck so this list i'm playing again very very similar to the lucario deck that i built um and i really enjoy playing this coco turbo patch engine for these fighting decks because fighting types did take a bit of a nerf with the rotation i think losing diancy was a huge bummer for those decks um diancy would be really good in this deck so the fact that this deck doesn't have a diancy is kind of annoying not gonna lie it does suck this deck can't play can't play diancy but other than that, I still think that finding types still have an advantage. Now, obviously, another way you can play Grab Block is with Colossal. In my opinion, it's kind of boring. You know, why not have some fun, right? And I have some other Colossal deck ideas in mind. Don't worry, I'll have a Colossal video up for you guys very soon. Um, and I don't really want to do one on Grab Block. Um, Colossal, but yeah. So, yeah, this is pretty much very similar to Lucario deck. I mean, I have a few things changed. I am playing a Zapdos. I'm actually finding the Zapdos to be a really good attacker. Not only can you do, like, a Thunderous Assault to do 80 damage, maybe knock out a Jirachi or, like, a lower HP Pokemon like a Goon, or you can also use Zapdos to put 80 damage on a Pokemon to then later on finish it off with Moonsault Press. So you can kind of see there's some synergy there. I'm also trying out this Landorus here uh, for Power Cyclone to do 60, and then you move an energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon. Another way to sum stuff up. Just gonna try it out, see how it plays. Again, I'm not like 100% sold on it, but you know, like Karate Belt, 60 damage, moving energy to Graph Locked, something like that. Got right here in here, also another pretty nice attacker to have in this deck, too, with the attack, Drill Run, and Heavy Rock Artillery. And of course, we have Coco again. We get Liner and Energy in the discard, and we can Coco and Energy onto Graph Locked or Rhyperior, building them up a lot quicker. Uh, I got one to Dene, one Crowbat. I am playing a Mew, uh, to protect our bench. And also, I've been finding Mew to be really good against Mad Party. Hint, hint, wink, wink, a game in this video. And I got four Jirachi to set up. Um, there's a lot of other Pokemon you can play in here for sure. Uh, this is what I'm rock with. I am playing Energy Spinner uh, to find Energy. And I got two Comms, four Quick Balls, uh, two Scoop Up Net, four Switch. Uh, pretty simple switching cards. I got four Turbo Patch to try to build up your Pokemon. Three Glimwood and then one Fighting Dojo. The Martial Arts Dojo is still really good here. Uh, but the Glimwood Tangle is of course good with Grab Locked. If you really want to go two Glimwood, two Dojo. And I got two Bosses Order, four Marnie, four Research, two uh, Cape of Toughness. Sometimes giving you extra HP is better. But the Karate Bell is also very important to make your Grab Block and attack for two energy if you're behind in prizes. And I got eight Basic Fighting and three Lightning. Pretty simple list. Again, we're going to try out this Coco Fighting build. Um, which I still think has potential. Let's go try it out. Peace, Joe, and see in action. All right, guys, getting in the first match with Grapple Locked here. Let's go first with the deck. Hopefully, yep, there we go. Boom. Winning the coin flip. Feels good. All right, let's see what we're playing against here. Okay, um, this is a definite starting hand. We have to discard two boss. Not a fan of that. We'll see what we can draw here. Uh, this opening hand isn't very good, so we'll have to see. We might have the Deadly Change, and I'm very tempted to, even just to try to get energy in play. I think it's Mad Party. Okay, uh, we do get the Grapple Lock, which is kind of cute. kind of don't like the term of Zapdos here, because Zapdos is actually good in this matchup. Um, hmm. 
Well, I don't really want to get rid of my boss's orders because we actually need them to boss up the Dennis and two prizers. That's how we're gonna win. So I don't know where I, what I want to do here. I might still cape the zap though, so just to have it on. I, mean, I don't think it matters where I put the cape. We'll put on the zap those. It's gonna pass. I mean, if we can go into grapple lock next turn, that'd be nice. They're not gonna Marnie me though. That's the only problem here. We know they're not gonna be playing a Marnie this turn, so we can't do anything about having the two of boss's orders. So that is a little unfortunate. It's a little unfortunate. We can't do anything about losing the boss's orders here. Okay, they're playing my Tugong build here. All right. Yeah. I don't know what to do, in all honesty. Zapdos kind of stuck. I mean, we could. No, oh, they don't have anything either, and that's good to see. We got an energy. We can put that on Zapdos. We can... I mean... Hmm. Could boss the Sinistia. I don't know. I kind of want to. I don't know. I'm. I'll wait one more turn. We'll wait one more turn. I don't think Zapdos. We have 160 HP. We're definitely not getting knocked out next turn. They'd have to have a lot to knock me out. So, I'm pretty sure Zapdos will be safe. We'll hold the hand and see where it takes us. We'll see where this takes us. All right. They got a great ball here. Okay, they are going to get a Dedene, so they can Dede change. That also means they will bench it, which is what we want to see. I mean, Dojo and Tie-Up does not enough to not get to Dede. Never mind, I thought that would be enough, but it doesn't. Okay, well, they are popping off here. Looks like they got a bit of a better start going on their second turn, but not their first turn. It's a shame we could knock out their Bunnel Bees. Zapdos is actually a really important attacker in this matchup, so I don't really want to be losing it anytime soon. I wouldn't mind knocking out the Bunnelby with Grap locked, and then we're weak to Psychic, right? Ooh, that's not good. We're weak to Psychic. They have the Twin. There is the Dead A Change. Getting rid of an Energy and a Boss. Okay, that's good. They have no map parties in the discard pile yet either, which is also good to see. Now they got one in there. That's only 20 damage. So see if they get any more in the discard here. I mean, we could boss it at any up, and if they don't have a switching card, that'd be pretty good. Pretty good. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe we should just research. I we might. I don't want to lose my bosses though. Without the boss, how are we gonna win by knocking out a Dene? This is just. This just sucks. I might have to wait to see what we can get here. I don't know what to tell you, man. This hand just isn't very good. I really don't like losing my boss's orders. We'll see what they got. I don't think we're getting knocked out. There's, I mean, it's kind of like not gonna have. They'd have to have like an insane hand here. They'd have a hand, have a handful of mad partiers, and then have a research to knock me out. <laughs> almost, almost, but not even then. I mean, yeah, we could boss the Dedene and try to like trap it or something. Cause like, they'd have to retreat with a twin. We can make them burn energy. They don't attack me. Okay, there's a Pokecom. Okay, we can conserve the Dene. Okay, let's just check the deck real quick. I mean, yeah. That's all of our boss. We have four Marnie in the deck. We could just go Crobat here, try to find Marnie, which I think I will do. I, it might be worth it to do this. Let's see. Okay, we didn't get it. We got a Mew, actually. We could scoop up the Zapdos here, go into Mew, and knock out the Bunnelby. But we'd have to get heads on Turbo Patch to pull this off. It might be worth it, though. Let's do it. I don't know. I mean, if we have to research, we'll research then. It is what it is. It, it just it is what it is. Look at that. Never punished. Um, we could actually boss the Dedene up, try to trap it for a turn two. This is good. Then they can't get it, and then they have to find their air balloon. Okay, this actually seems pretty good. That seems pretty good, actually. Let's take our prize. Rhyperior. We could actually use Rhyperior. Drill Run can one-shot the Poltegeist. And we are not weak to Psychic. And we have a lot of HP, so I think I will bench Rhyperior. So we're going to force them to find their switching card here. If they want to knock me out. If not, they won't be able to KO me. We'll see how that goes. I do want to... We probably have to respond to Zapdos not going to Poltegeist, though. But that Turbo Patch head was huge. If the Turbo Patch got tails, I would have went for the research and just went, all right, whatever, we have to do research, but good thing we got heads. 
another quick ball looks like they might opt for a mew of their own okay that doesn't really matter obviously but that's fine and hope they're stuck here that's our best bet is to hope the dedene cannot move they got a wheezing yeah the roxies don't really matter too much and everything on board is pretty much a target against this deck they get rid of another dugong they got a 2-2 dugong line. they got that thick dugong line I mean, Dugong, I guess, could be a problem against us if we had, like, Jirachis in play, but we don't, so... I guess maybe... Yeah, we don't overrode Dugong, because I don't think they have Ornay Rod. Hopefully this play pays off, because we can knock out their Sinistee here with Mew, which is pretty good. Mew? I'm telling you, man. Mew is really good against Mad Party. It is very slept on. How much are they doing right now? I'm only doing 100 damage with Mad Party. So they can't even knock out Zapdos without that Roxy hit. The only problem I had with Scoobin and the Zapdos is I wanted to keep the Cape of Toughness on it, but it is what it is. Nice, this paid off. You love it when a plan comes together. We got an energy we can put on. Probably just Rhyperior, right? We're just going to research. Sorry, boss. It is what it is. Didn't get much else off of that on there. Anyways, okay, we can bench the Jirachi because they don't have Dugong anymore. I guess we're just gonna side power the Sinistee and knock it out. We'll save the Quick Ball. If we can get a Light Energy, we can uh, do a Coco with this Quick Ball, Scoop of Net, and then maybe go right here. We got a Switch. I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, Mew is just doing mayhem right now. I love I love using Mew against Mad Party. It's so good. It's so good in the early game. If you, if you ever want to put a Mew in your deck, put it in for the Mad Party matchup, and it really does make a difference. The only problem is we can't knock out this Dedene. We could, in theory, though, if this thing stays in the active... We could scoop up Net the Mew, go into Jirachi, Quick Ball for Coco, and then do a knockout with Drill Run here. We could, I guess we could knock it out with Drill Run. I actually think we should go for that if they don't move. Instead of doing side power, which there's really no point, right? Unless they, if they've been to the Sinistee, maybe. But I, I want to take my two prizes. Okay, they're going to boss? Rhyperior. So we can't do that play. Okay. Oh, there's all our Glimwoods. We don't really need the Glimwood, though, so it's actually not that big of a deal. Um... I guess we can do this. Go Coco. I mean, I would like to do two energy, but not one. But, I mean, we're in a pretty... I mean, we have a lead right now in this match. It's not that big of a deal. It's really not. But, yeah, we can knock out this Dedenne this turn. This will be really good. We research. I'm gonna save the Stellar Wish because we need to find a moving card for Jirachi. Didn't get one. Ooh, oh boy. Stellar Wish. No. So we are not knocking out the Dedenne this turn, unfortunately. That's a shame. Alright, rip. Um, I'm just gonna put the cape on and pass. This way, 280 HP, a little bit harder to deal with. Dang it, bro. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That was our one opportunity to knock out the Dedene. If they didn't boss me there, we would have been able to uh, knock out the Dedene. Now they're definitely going to be able to switch out. Uh, unless they, well, they could whiff a Twin Energy. It is possible, but yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. I mean, if Rhyperior can take two prizes before getting KO'd, I think we can win the game. Not to mention, they mentioned Sinistee here. I'll just go Mew and just do Psy Power again. So it's actually not that big of a deal. There's another Roxy... Two Sinistees go down. They have one Sinistee left in the deck. They might not have enough attackers to deal with my board. They have two Bunnelbees, one Sinistee. So they have, what, three attackers? Seal. Okay, I gotta assume they can't They can't go Dugong. I don't even care about that. They can't do Dugong. There's no way. There's no way they're doing Dugong. We do have Landorus too, which is a pretty good attacker. Actually, maybe not. They can't one-shot the Poltegeist without the Dojo being active. Where it's doing 40 more damage. So I don't actually know if we need the Landorus. I mean, I'll calm it to save it anyways. They got 9 cards left. If this did any doesn't move, I'm going to be very surprised. Hopefully it doesn't, because I really want to knock it out. I really do. I really want to KO it. Primate Wisdom. Okay, what else? U-turn. Dang it, they got the U-turn board. It looks like they're playing a list closer to what I was using, though, in my video. And not really the one me and Azul played. So how much is this Bunnelby doing? 160. Okay, we'll attack with the right period. We have a lot of HP. We should be able to tank two hits. 
Another energy. That's like a top deck. We could actually Marnie them here. I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm gonna do it anyways. We'll Marnie them, sure. Maybe we're taking away some energy. Alright. Got an energy spinner. We can play that next turn. It's gonna take a knockout drill run. Who knows? Maybe this Marnie did damage. You never know. Well, actually, the seal doesn't even matter, right? Because they don't even have Dugong. Yeah, even if they did have Dugong, we have Mew and Blight. What am I saying? I was like, even when they mentioned it, I was like, oh, but I guess, like, Mew would have been knocked out. I don't really know. I don't really know. It just sucks we couldn't get knocked out the Dedenny. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, they're going to calm here. I mean, it's pretty likely they'll find energy. They've only played, they haven't played a single research yet, so there's that. I mean, I know the Marnie probably wouldn't have done anything anyways. Like, they're pretty well set up. There's no way a Marnie's not going to make them get a bad hand, but... You know, it was worth playing anyways, I think, to get rid of their massive hand just to try to cripple them a little bit if we had any opportunity to do that. We'll see what they do here. Again, they have to do 270 damage. I don't think they're going to reach that. They do not have enough mad parties in the discard pile. I think they're, they can two-shot me, but they don't have another mad party in play right now. There's another Roxy. Only one mad. And that's, yeah. I don't think they're killing me. I could be wrong. My math could be off. I don't... Yeah, they're, I think they're... Yeah, they're way off. They're a bit off here. So we're living. They are living. We could deck them out too, maybe. That's another thing. They are very long cards. I don't know why they benched the sealed when they didn't need to. Yeah, how much are they doing? 240? 220. Okay, so see. They just don't have the knockout. So we just go here. I mean, we'll thin the deck out. They obviously don't play stamps. We can quick ball away, grapple locked. What do we got left? One lightning to work with. Okay. It's gonna knock him out drill run. They did not bench a mad part. Minus 30 resistance? Oh no, bro. I thought this thing had minus 20 resistance. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. Not really, but. I thought this thing had a minus 20 resistance. I mean. Minus 30. I completely forgot that is the new norm now. Oh my gosh. That is a face palm moment. <laughs> and we can still go Mew. It's not the end of the world, but that is, that's actually kind of funny. I can't believe I forgot about that. We should have just went heavy rock artillery. Oh my gosh. I'm not throwing, am I? I don't think we can still lose. I think we're still good to win, but... That was a really... They're down two twins. That was a really dumb misplay. I apologize for that, guys. I just completely forgot about the minus 30 resistance. I just always thought it was minus 20. Whatever. I guess we gotta do it. We gotta live and learn, bro. We gotta just live and learn. So we'll Marnie them again. Let's see where this takes us. There's a dojo. That's what we would have needed to knock them out. Oh my gosh. We got a turbo patch, though. <laughs> Could play that. Aw, oh, dang it. Or else I want to put 20 damage. I don't think it really matters, right? I don't think this 20 damage matters too much. So they don't have Dugong. I could put it on the Oranguru, I guess, for Zapdos. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I don't really want to put the damage on the Bunnelby. Yeah, I don't really think we need to put the damage on the Bunnelby. I think I'll just put 20 damage on this thing. Sure, we'll put it on the Oranguru. I, I don't really know. There's really nowhere else to put the damage. I don't want to put it on Bunnelby because we just knock it out with... Uh, tie up or zap those but we didn't get heads on turret patch i think we gotta go we, i think we just gotta knock over tie up we'll see the bench of synergy though dang bro i i misplayed so hard i still think we can win this but not knocking out that synergy is not helping while wow, they actually promoted the rain guru interesting oh research oh they're decked out it doesn't even matter we still won i'm a dummy though for uh, misplaying I'm a dummy. I apologize for my right period. It didn't matter. We still won. I still, even with that misplay, guys, it's not like we were going to lose the game. We were still, like, pretty... We were still in a pretty good spot, is what I'm trying to say. All right, guys, get another match here. We do get to call the coin flip, which we do end up losing, unfortunately. All right, we'll see what we're playing against. I'm assuming it's a fire deck. He's got a Charizard VMAX deck box. Well, maybe not. We'll see if we can hit any Eternatus or Pika today with this Graphlock deck, which is, is what we want to play against, right? It's pretty pretty straightforward stuff um okay i was gonna say i don't want to be caught starting with coco here 
Rhyperior, and it looks like he's playing a grass deck, so we have to go grapple locked. I guess that's one good thing about grapple locked being weak to psychic. It's not weak to grass, so I guess it's good in this matchup. Hmm. I'm gonna I don't wanna bench the Coco just yet. I don't see a point. Oh, they're playing a Rilla Boomer deck. Hmm. That could be interesting. If we take out two Rilla Boom VMAX, we can win the game. So that might have to just be our game plan here. Hmm. I don't know. Going first isn't ideal in this matchup. I would say, well, I guess maybe not. I guess if they could, like, pull off a Rare Candy Rillaboom. Or, like, an Egg Row Rillaboom going second, that'd be worse. They get rid of a Catcher. Alright, well, we are going to be marning them here. So, hopefully, we get to take it away any Rare Candy Rillaboom shenanigans. I'm more scared of Egg Row than I am the Rillaboom VMAX. The Rillaboom VMAX would scare me because it's, you know, we can take it out in a couple hits. But the Rilla VMAX, that thing, uh, might be a bit of a, or the, uh, the Egg Row might be more scarier, to be honest. True fighting energy. Hmm. Well, we could play the lightning down. I mean, there's no need not to. I don't think we'll be getting knocked out next turn. We'll bench the Coco, I guess, just to be safe. We'll Marnie them. See how this goes. All right, we got Grapp locked. Not much else, though. If they get a Rare Candy Rillaboom here and knock out my Mew, that's going to be really bad. Could calm for Crobat. We could draw a Pokemon, too. I might wait a turn, to be honest. Hmm. Do I want to be in top deck mode, or does it really matter? I don't know. I don't want to be in top deck mode, but... I can definitely draw a Pokemon. It's not the end of the world. As long as... I guess... Yeah, we'll do it. As long as they don't have a Rare Rilla Boom here, it's not that big of a deal. If this thing at 60 HP, i definitely target that. But I don't mind getting 30 damage on this, because we'll, we'll need a, we need to get damage on the Rilla Boom so that we can knock out the Rilla Boom VMAX. Maybe in one hit with Grapple Lock, if all goes well. Gotta hope they don't have a rare candy Rillaboom here off of a Marnie to four. Marnie, you let me down all the time because you're a very unbalanced card, but now will be the one time I want you to actually work for me and not give my opponent a good hand. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay, they have a Marnie. That is fine. All right, now I'm glad I bent Scrap Block. Look at that. We are losing the fighting energy, but that's fine. As long as we can get a better hand here than we had to work with. All right, two switch. We could tie him up, I guess. I don't think, I think we just keep spamming Mew here and just get damage on them. Quick ball. Probably gonna get a Crobat or Dedenne, I'm guessing. Yeah, Dedenne. So they really want to get that rare candy Rillaboom to knock out my Mew. Which would be bad if they did, to be honest. Hopefully Mew can live. If Mew can live, we're chilling. Two Warning Rods, then a Brock Strip. See, like my Venusaur deck, I said we need more way to get energy back in the deck, and they do have it. Honestly, I think two Rods might just be better than the Brock Strip. I don't know if you need the Brock Strip. Pokey Gear. Okay, let's see what they get here. That means they might not have the rare candy Rillaboom. Skyla? Okay, they can't play that, so I think they might have whipped the Rare Candy Rillaboom here. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Okay, nice. Forest Feast. Search your deck for two basic grass Pokemon. Put them on your bench. Hmm. I got Shaman. Ooh, we drew a boss. We can do boss here, which, I mean, I don't really mind. We can boss up the... We can boss up a Grookey? We could boss the Dedenne. Well, as long as they get the Rare Candy Rillaboom, it's not going to matter. I might actually be better to Marnie them, too. Take away that Skyla. Yeah. Losing two Switch isn't ideal, but whatever. Marnie one time? No, we didn't get a Marnie. I'm just going to research here, I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't want to lose this much energy. Even with Turbo Patch in the deck. Hmm. I do want to get a Jirachi down. I will research. Yeah, I want to get Jirachi in play. We'll just side power. So, 60 damage, Rillaboom VMAX has 330 HP. That would put it at like 280. So we can't knock it out that way. I mean, we might as well just go Grapple Locked, Moon Assault Press, and then go with like a Zapdos Knockout. I guess we'll put 30 damage here. Who knows? Maybe they know the Rare Candy Rillaboom too by some random miracle. Who you never know. They also need to get Rillaboom VMAX in play. Best case scenario for us, they have to knock me out with Wood Hammer. Great Ball. Ooh, I can get them what they're looking for. Let's see it. Oh, I don't want to see it. Thwacky Eye. Beautiful. That is not a Rilla VMAX or a Rillaboom. That is what I like to see. But that could get them two Rillabooms in play because they probably have Rare Candy Rillaboom. They have Rare Candy Rillaboom with that Skyla play and they have a VMAX in their hand. They're going to have a pretty good setup here. We are going to definitely have a pretty good setup. 
Let's see what they Skyla for. The nice thing is we can knock out the Shaman in one hit too with uh, Zapdos. Okay, looks like they're gonna get a Turf Field. That is fine. We'll see what this Turf Field does for them. Are they gonna get the VMAX or the Rillaboom? If they don't have it here, we can um, we can probably retreat and try to knock them out Moonsault, which I'm definitely gonna go for. Okay, do they have the rare candy or are they just getting that just to have it in their hand? Let's find out. Come on, just do Forest Feast. Come on, one time. One time. One time, see a Forest Feast. If we can Marnie them and knock them out Grapp Lock and get the Counter Stadium, that's going to be huge. They might still get a Rillaboom though off our Marnie, but that's fine. Yes, they don't have it. Very nice. There's the Glimwood. All right, beautiful. Let's see what we have in the deck. A lot of stuff. Okay. So we can go attach. We can retreat into Jirachi here. Which I'm gonna do. I mean, we should find a switching card. And then we can do a, the Cant of Ancients and make the most out of it. Building up, getting into Dene and Energy on it wouldn't be bad either, though, for Tingly Return, but we're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna Marnie them. Should find Netter's thing. Not off of this. That's a rip. Okay. One time. Ooh, we didn't get it there either. Yikes. Oh no, we might whip the switching card here. That is not good. Oh my god, we whipped the switch. That is a big bra moment. Oh my gosh. Jirachi, how could you? That's not good. That is really bad. Oh my gosh. Whiffing that is so bad. They got a Marnie too. There goes our hand. We're losing quite a bit of stuff here. Because I probably need another counter stadium. Yeah, that's not good. Uh-oh. How did we whiff, bro? That really sucks. Yeah, we are in a lot of trouble now. We are in a lot of trouble. Let's hope they don't get the VMAX down. Okay, Skyla. They do play Pokemon Catcher though, right? Catcher, yeah. I mean, they could have a Catcher here. They could catch her Grap Locked, which would be really bad too. Because we didn't put the Karate Belt in the other one. We have Turbo Patch, though, but we'll see. All right, yeah, just a Wood Hammer? All right, I'm fine with this. That's fine. As long as they didn't, like, have a VMAX. Okay. There's a Scoop Up Net. All right, let's go with the Turbo Patch. We do get Heads, which is really relevant. We need to build this thing up. We need Energy for it, too. We can go... Oh, he's going to Mew, I guess. So we can go... Could Bench Rhyperior... I don't think we're ever going to be able to build it up in time. I'm not going to bother because this is weak to fighting. We're just going to go for the Moon Assault Press. I don't even need to reflip. Just get heads. All right. We'll see if we get knocked out here by this other Rillaboom. It might be possible. It might not be. Landorus. Okay. Ugh. Two dead card. No energy for the grab block, which is not good. If we can maybe draw a boss just by some random miracle, that'd be great. Now I regret benching Crobat because it's just like, it completely makes my hand dead. But once again, Marnie into dead hands. It is the story of my life. Okay, they do get the VMAX down. 300 HP. So we need to figure out a way to... If we can draw a boss, I would really like to gust this up and just smack it. We'll see what happens, though. We can knock out the Shaman, I guess, with the Grapple Locked. I don't know, I really want to boss this thing up. How much? Well, they are down a lot of their energy uh, resources. They could actually run out of energy at some point, too. You gotta remember, because they are low on energy. They already lost their Brock's Grit and two of their Ordinary Rods. They're down seven, eight energy in total. So there's a chance, though. Okay, they played two Brock's Grit. I, never mind. I was going to say, there's a chance we could run them out of energy, but that is not going to happen. It's very much not going to happen. Okay. Yeah, just a flower storm for 120. All right. Gives us some time to hopefully draw out of this bad hand we have. There we go. I'm going to get rid of the Hyperior for Jirachi. I'm going to go for the Moon Assault Press. All right, so we're going to get knocked out by the Real Loom next turn. We got to go in with another Graph Block. Let's see what our prize is. Boss's Order? Okay. 
we had a better way, I would like to boss the Dedenne and then knock out something else, but I think we just have to try to go through this real boom VMAX if it's possible. We'll see. I think we're definitely gonna save our martial arts dojo. I think the dojo's gonna be huge here. How many Marnies have they put eight? Two Marnies? Hmm. There's the Brock's grit. Okay. I think we're just gonna have to try two shot this. I mean, we still have another graph block in the deck. We have two turbo patches, but we don't have a Tapu Koko anymore. We do have Karate Belt. If we can get heads here, I think, on the Moon Assault Press. Hmm. I'm trying to think of how to knock this out. So we have to two shot this Rillaboom. So if we can go 100, so we can go 300 minus, what, 220 damage. They'll have 80 HP left. Then we can finish them off with Zap, though, so the, um, the Landorus. Do we have any Lightning in the deck? We do. So we can either finish them off with Zapdos or Landorus. With the Dojo in play, we'd have to use Landorus. Okay. That's fine. So we're going to save the Dojo, then. We're going to try to Moon, assuming we can get the energy. But we can definitely knock out this Rillaboom in two turns. If we can't, we can't. Then we're going to lose. It is what it is. There's the Dead A change. That's a bit of a yikes. As long as we don't lose this dojo, we should be good to maybe get them. They could retreat, though, another Rillaboom VMAX, though, which is also bad. I mean, if they do that, I think we definitely just lose. Unless we can somehow pull off a boss knockout on this, but I don't think that's possible. Oh, no, a stamp to three? Oh, no, there goes that hand. Okay, we got Zapdos and Research. Okay. But that's our last Lightning Energy. Hmm. We have Turbo Patch, I guess. This might come down to a Turbo Patch hedge, guys. Unfortunately. Uh, or maybe not. We do the fight energy. We need to get heads here to make this count. Yes, let's go. Okay. So yeah, we win with Zapdos next turn. Assuming we can also get the switch and they don't stand me again. I didn't retreat this. We'll see what happens. I guess we could have held off on benching Zapdos, but it could Marty me. I don't want to I don't want to risk losing my Zapdos and then whiffing the attacks. I think we just got to bench it and hope for the best. That's my best, best thing I can do here. If we didn't draw the fire energy, we would have had to rely on a turbo patch heads on the Zapdos too, which would have been funny. I mean, I don't know if we can win this, but we'll see. We will see. But if they just retreat, the, if they go into another Rillaboom VMAX, we'd have to literally draw a boss's order. Or scoop up net and then Stellar Wish into our last boss. I really regret mentioning Crobat. Crobat, if I didn't mention the Crobat there, we might have been able to use it to try to dig for like a play here where we might need a boss's Rillaboom up. So I kind of regret mentioning the Crobat now. If they didn't have two Brock's Grid, they also got a Death Dead, which would have been really good. Let's just hope they don't retreat. Let's just hope they just knock me out with the VMAX here. Well, they waited the Cape on, so they'd have to go another Rillaboom VMAX. So they're not another Rillaboom VMAX, they'd have to knock me out with the active. Which it looks like they might be doing. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's going to attack me with the active, which means all we have to do is get a switching card and we win the game. Nice. Okay. So we got a Research and a Stellar Wish to work with. We just have to find one of our two Scoop Up Nets or Switch. They don't even one-shot me. All right, that Zapdos play is completely irrelevant. That is game. Grapple Lock V taking down the Rillaboom V Max deck in a pretty um, pretty good game. Things definitely got a little close there for sure at the end. We prized two Fight Energy too, which is rough. Let's see what our present box thing is. 25 coins. But yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys. I think on the Grapple Lock deck. I think I did a good job from all the deck. We beat a Mad Party deck, albeit a little bit of a hilarious match. <laughs> right period misplay aside. Um, I did a good job showing up this deck. I think... This deck is cool. I might just cut the lander, so honestly, I wouldn't mind maybe playing two Zapdos. Like, I really liked having the Zapdos in here, but yeah, the Grapple Lock V, definitely a really cool card. Who knows? It might be a great card against Eternus. We didn't get to play against Eternus with this deck, unfortunately, because we didn't run into any Eternus matchups, uh, but it is what it is. It's PC Joe for you. Uh, but that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Grapple Lock V deck. If you guys enjoyed today's PCGO video, leave a like down below. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 11k subs. We just hit 10.9k subs. So we are even closer to 11k subs than we have ever been. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, sub down below. Check out the sponsor, Crackman TCG, down below too. Use code LDF if you get any codes. Now, see you guys in another PCGO video. Peace out. Bye-bye.